everyone. Welcome back to Sword. Let's play Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. You know, I like this tune a lot more now that I'm listening to it at this moment <laughs> than I did when we went through in the last episode and wiped out all the Ventru in this factory slash warehouse, including Orsi. The very same Orsi who had us defeat Luther Black back in the Dark Ages now, centuries ago, throwing him in the end into this vat of magma. Glorious. But we didn't find out where we're supposed to go, although we did find out that Aneska is willingly serving Vudalak. We should ex have expected this all along since it sounds like if she's not by now a vampire and has been turned, that she's at least a ghoul working for him. In either case, is probably bloodbound to him and was corrupted by him literally ages ago. But we came no closer to discovering where all that's happening. Now, I know it's got to be in the Cathedral of Flesh. If that's not the next and last dungeon that we're supposed to do, I'll be surprised, but we might have one more left. In any case, we didn't really leave this place with anything phenomenal. I, actually, never mind. We did get a flamethrower. We have a rocket launcher and a medium ballistic vest. Other than that, though, the sweet vengeance was worth it, as was all the delicious experience points at the end of the battle. So let's go ahead really quick and put a break here. Actually, let's get back out into the city street. Uh, yeah, let's get back out into the city, the city street first. Then we'll take a look at our characters. I don't have to compete with this music. And by our character, I mean all of our characters. Is this the exit? No. It's down here somewhere. Yep. We'll do the summary once we're outside, showing what I took. I'm pretty sure it was just maxing out abilities that we already had with most of my characters. And or taking a few more points into some of their stat line. Uh, to have them do more damage, get more soak, etc, etc. You know, the last mission also went to... Surprisingly well. The girls lasted... for hundreds of years? I wonder if they were bloodbound to Orsi and never wanted to serve him, and if we'll discover that that was all a hoax, or if they're here for vengeance. On the off chance it's the second, let's at least get Heart of Stone up on us. Hello, ladies. Where is Vukadlak? That we cannot tell you. I know where he is. We'll find him. We don't need to threaten the poor girls. We shall find the fiend without your help. Thou hast earned my lady, as thy sorrow has earned my wrath. Wait, Crusader. The fiend is below the blackened church to the north. There you'll find him, below, in his cathedral of flesh. Little good this will do you now, as he arises in but a few moments. Samuel's really checking out the blonde. <laughs> Samuel, you, you, you got to learn to be, you know, a little bit more suave at it, or you'll never get any any lady to really take you seriously. Hey, you do have an overbite problem as well, but uh, that can that can be fixed. But if if you're just staring at them, that's not likely to do so. Did we miss talking with them earlier? We must have.
the boy who left home to find out about the shivers did it better. <laughs> okay, it's uh, it's on. I, I'm guessing this is final dungeon time. Well, let's go ahead and look at our. We'll do the summary anyway because we're we're right here. And then I guess we'll prep for the final dungeon. Let me put a small break here. All right, everyone. Let's go ahead and take a look at our characters for what might end up being the last time. So as before, I'm just going to go ahead and click on all these disciplines and let's show you guys what, uh, how many points are in them. You guys probably don't really need me to do a summary at this point any longer, so. I've really, I've really liked that Kristoff is able to be built like any real way you want. And I like that the way that I tend to develop characters, which is focusing on a handful of abilities, worked out for him. I think it was really incredibly helpful that I accidentally leveled up one of the best abilities in the game, Majesty, which enthralls everything staring at him. With 5 points and 70 charisma, or, and or appearance, whatever it took in order to really benefit from it, that was fan That was amazing. What does Majesty take? Appearance. Yeah, appearance. So that was, that was amazing. What a lucky skill level up that was for us. Man. Having everyone just stand still and not act made a lot of those final battles much easier, I think. I guess we'll, we'll be trying out Prison of Ice and or the Inward of Searing Flame up ahead and see how well or how difficult the game is with these now. I'm not imagining there's probably going to be very many stakes in the final dungeon, but we'll find out together when we get there. Again, assuming that that is a final dungeon, which I can't, I can't believe it's not, that's not going to be the case. Let, let me, let me take a quick peek. Oh yeah, yeah, alright, we're going to what I, what's the, what I think is the final dungeon. We're going to, to kill Vudalak in his Cathedral of Flesh. Alright, well, well, first let's look at the other characters again. With Pink gone, that's a little odd, we're, we're looking at Lily next instead. I've liked her very much as well. I think I like her more than Serena. I really like the animation she uses when she casts uh, her spells. Standing there, outstretching her left arm. The left hand. That's pretty cool looking. She's a, she's a pretty cool girl. Started rather weak, too. I'm really glad that we've either found or kept that Lore of Flames book for her. I think that really helped her out. As we didn't need yet another character running around awing and using majesty on people. Yeah, dedicated spellcaster. And her Magnesium Crossbow has proven to be really effective as well. For Samuel, I'm super glad to have given him Wart at the very, very end here. I think that was also handy. I do like the form in Blood Healing and Feed. And man, looking back now at the beginning of this game, when I had thought we needed more points to feed, to be able to feed on enemies, like, actively, instead of using awe to enthrall them, to feed on them automatically. Like, when they get close, I wouldn't have to make an attack roll to grab them. That's so handy. <laughs> All points and feed do is just let it be more efficient at uh, the amount of blood you get per second that you drain their blood, the transfer. Oh, right, we took five points in Plague Wind with him, too, so I guess we'll see how what a smart idea that was. And finally, Willem. Oh, I f did we take a fifth point in feeding? I, th I think we did in feeding blood healing at some point. I like that he's going to be with us to uh, here at the very end. Assuming he doesn't betray us and reveal that he's actually working for Vudalak. Guess we'll find out soon. I'm surprised Katarina didn't show up to talk to us. I guess she wouldn't care. She knows we're not going to obey her. We're still chasing after Anezka. All right. That's everyone. And as for their weaponry and items, I don't think you guys probably care any longer. We're about to hit the end of the game, is my guess. I, what am I going to do with the gear, the rocket launcher we picked up and so on? I don't think we need it, do we? I guess we can carry it. I probably should also try, attempt to buy more tailored clothing. Since we are at the very, very end of the game, I'm just going to give myself a ton of money if I do see, like, anything I particularly want and just walk out with it. We don't really have... We don't really care about cash anymore. And on that note, we won't be picking up any gear 
if we find any inside the final dungeon. I refuse to believe anything's better than what we're already wearing or have access to. Unless there's like a really powerful version of the Ankuran sword in there waiting for us or something of this sort. Oh, anyway, let me put another break here because that, that's the end of the summary. Attend me. Okay. And, oh, the cathedral's right there on the right, but I want to do one more bout of shopping first. I I'm sure v Vudalak won't mind. You know, he's busy getting getting on his New York walking legs for a little bit, so we can take our time and go and buy some more supplies first. I'm a bit lost. Where Where is the New Age store? Oh, oh my god! Does the game actually show me where I am this entire time? Because I see this is like light, lightly green. Or is that just how the map was drawn there? Okay, that's just how the map is drawn. And I'm going arguably the wrong way. Okay, well I guess we'll we'll take care of weaponry first. And hit the Haven really fast. Talk to Dev Null, see if he says anything new. Store some of this stuff, and then we'll head on out. I'm too nervous giving my my people rocket launchers and the grenade launcher I picked up because I I just know they're going to kill each other. <laughs> they're going to aim it point blank at the wall, pull the trigger and kill themselves is what's going to happen. So I'm not going to equip them. Wow. Hey, hey, check this out. I don't even care Ain't to get them. These the most beautiful things you ever seen. I don't even care to get the most money out of this. I'm just going to vendor them straight from uh, Christoph. All right, what do we need? So it's probably too much to hope that he's selling in tailored clothing, isn't it? It is. All right, I'll, I'll make the assumption that the, this final boss won't be any more difficult than the other bosses have been so far. And we'll just move in with what we've got so far. So we do need magnesium tip bolts. And then let's give those hey, Don't be a stranger, you know? Totally. Please give them to her, Wilhelm. Should probably just fill her inventory up with this stuff. Yes, everyone, it's very, very important that I make sure her inventory is also sorted. I have to do this. Okay, that's good. And then... We want clips for the submachine gun. As many of them as we think you can hold. Hey, hey, check this out. Ain't these the most beautiful things you ever seen? Hey, All right. don't be a stranger, you know? That should get us through one battle. <laughs> Given how often he fires the weapon. I take it the machine gun actually fires multiple bullets out of the clip per time? Per, like, per fire? Per shot? And this is not, uh, say, 32 shots per clip. It's probably 8 shots per clip. We're also going to want to fill our inventory up with tons of blood items so we don't have to leave the final dungeon. That would be, in particular, rather awkward. And wouldn't make sense that we would be able to just simply leave. Well, how about that? I accidentally picked up enough clips to also make it look kind of pretty. Okay, that's gonna do it. Take care, we're all the hey. same. Hey, take her easy. We'll have to save the world. New moon... Actually, uh, do we want to go to the Haven? There's no reason to do that. 
New moon next. We will need some Awakened Scrolls. And as many blood items as possible. And if we can buy any more magical gear, we'll do that too. These old games. I really like that there's no... We're, we should be feeling all this pressure. This, But we know that we have at least another five minutes to sell some more stuff and buy some stuff at New Moon. Maybe the girl will mention how, uh, how, like, she feels something's not right with the atmosphere or, or air out here in New York, given what just happened. Blessed be! Nope! Blessed be! Alright, let's see. So I want... Discipline stuff. You're not selling any discipline stuff. Of course not. Why would you sell discipline stuff? We can take a Serenity Amulet, though. And I only see Blood Pearls. All right, well, let's buy as many of these. Mm -mm. Blessed be! As I think we're going to need. Which will be that many. I know Lily can hold four of them. You can hold... Three more. These two in particular are going to need it because of all the summoning and fire spells are going to be casting. You figured the shopkeeper may inquire about why we're buying so much many blood pearls. Let alone why she's selling blood pearls. I never stopped to think about that. Why is she selling blood? Is that a thing you can even do? I don't... I don't think, like... Blessed be! I don't think you're allowed to, like, sell blood. <laughs> Maybe it's just that people tend not to buy blood from mysterious places. Blessed be! If this doesn't get me through the final dungeon, I will honestly be surprised. Nothing, it, based on the last dungeon, how easy that was. I'm suspecting this will be the same. That's, I don't mean to be rude when I say that, but I have noticed that many games don't, uh, they either make the final boss way too difficult, or they make him way too easy. So I guess we'll find out together which one of those Vlutilac is. I hope it's actually the first and not the second. Watch me eat those words. All right. We are set. Let's do it. I didn't buy any Schools of Awaken. I'm going to hope we don't really need more than what we've got. We've got, I think, eight on us at the moment. So that will hopefully tide us, hold us over. Any final words before we get going about the game? I'm glad to have played through Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Thank you everyone who suggested that I keep going and cheat to do so. It's, I won't lie, it hasn't been the funnest game in the world for me. But as long as I was able to recover items and have some house rules in play... I didn't regret playing through this. I like the characters, I like the setting and the story, and I like seeing these characters develop over time. I didn't like the gameplay very much, and I don't think it's a very well-balanced game. Probably the Age of Redemption mod probably addresses and or fixes most of this. I will probably never play this game again, uh, either. But, once again, I don't regret my time playing through it. Um... I will be honest in that if it wasn't for you guys watching me play this, if I was to do this alone, like play it on my own, not record it, not upload it to YouTube, I wouldn't have. I would have stopped after uh, the Cappadocians, uh, after, sorry, during Joseph's Tunnels and just said, nah, 
I, I don't feel like cheating to see the end. I, I'd either just watch someone else play it on YouTube. And the, actually, not, I, I would have watched someone else play it on YouTube instead of playing the game myself. So, this has been... Uh, it's been fun to play with you guys, though. Thank you guys for hanging out with me during this during this series. I'm assuming this is it. So, as you can tell. So, let's, let's head on in here. I'm assuming this is probably a, a three or four level dungeon with the final boss at the end. All right. I guess we should get other disciplines up here. We're probably not going to be able to all anything down here, is my guess. And I don't really need to do that so anyway, given the abilities we have. So let's go ahead and swap some new disciplines on my hotbar. So... We'll take Prison of Ice. Oh, Prison of Ice is actually the only other one to be, you, would poss you could possibly want. Right, we're not going to feed... We haven't... Well, we have fed on a few things in a few dungeons since the New Age, but we're probably not going to do that now. I want back what was here, what was there. That was Heart of Stone. Or we could take Heightened Senses in case there's any invisible f enemies. All right, we'll go with this at the moment. Samuel... Let's see, feed blood healings on your bar. Celerity is not on your bar. I guess we can give you celerity. We did put five points in it. Cloak of shadows, obfuscate, potence, plague wind. This belongs on your bar too. I'm content with what Lily has and Wilhelm. You don't need all. So what are we giving you there? You have. Potence. You have Feral Claws. I guess we'll give you Dread Gaze. I don't really need you to have any other discipline down there. On the off chance you the AI prefers these abilities in the hotbar, we'll do this. Alright. Let me save the game again. Now let's do it. We have this music again. It was in the Tower of London. Oh, I like the evil laugh. I see the war ghouls over there. I'd like to fight them first. So let's go. I do withdraw. We're going to do this a little bit old school this time, I think, though. War ghouls can keep us stun locked, so we need to be a little careful. We'll have Samuel be the one to pull them. Firestorm. Kristoff let's use a celerity. <gasps> Wilhelm, you can use a potence. Excellent work, guys. First battle done. A little bit of damage to Wilhelm, but otherwise we're okay. I guess we'll have... We'll use him like a scout. It's probably too much to hope that we could fight Voodalak immediately, right? Wow, 
Wow, it is dark here. Oh, we're probably, we probably have to go there to get to the next dungeon level. Let's go, Warghul. I like that you know exactly where I am at, at all times, but you can't actually attack me. Go get him, guys. Go get him. Yo, over here. Good job, guys. Good job. And it is dark in this place. Stand back. Cotary, halt. Thankfully, you did use blood heal on yourself. We're getting great. Oh yeah, four cash. They upgraded from of getting four coins to four dollars. Not very accurate with that weapon. You've already gone through two. Please excuse me, Mr. Wraith. You've already gone through two clips, Samuel. Stand back. So we don't need any loot. Yo, over here. We don't need any loot from this place. So all this stuff, we don't care about it. I don't care about animalism, for example. But I might want what's in this paper what drops. I don't care about a sighted assault rifle. Yo, over here. Halt. Cathedral barrels are locked, huh? Yo, over here. That looks rather ominous, but we I guess that's not where we're supposed to go. What is that? It's that thing that hangs down from the back of your neck. This is someone's mouth. I'm guessing. Oh, wow! I completely missed that poor dude. All right, uh, let's move on, boys. Guessing then it was the other path we were supposed to take. I'm also going to pray that our quartery can actually path correctly here. They did. Holy crap! Small, small miracles. Oh no! What is? That's one of those giant. That that's the. Uh, What's it called again from from Star Wars? <laughs> it's one of those things. I can't think of the name of it now. A anyway, uh, we killed one of these as a final boss. Oh, it says it right there. It's a Volzod. Well, let's just start the fight then. Oops, that was the wrong thing to do. Stuff, we don't want you dying. Can we prison of ice it? We can! You're kidding me! Good 
Good, good work, guys. Good work. We don't care about any of the loot. I only care about this chest. Stand thy ground. No, we don't. Another sighted assault rifle. No, I unironically think Samuel has turned out to be a fantastic character. I really like the way he walks. I like the look of him. I like the gear I gave him. I like the disciplines I gave him. He's he's amazing. I should have used him as a scout beforehand. Cotary, halt. Alright, so that wasn't so difficult. I guess we could have all snuck past that creature also if we wanted to. Yo, over here. Mm -hmm. Oh, fantastic fire uh, use there, Lily. Stand back. Wow. Well done, guys. Well done. Cotary, halt. Oh, that was that was an accident. Yo, over here. Stand back. I probably should be looking for like a key or something, shouldn't I? Cotary, halt. I like that he uses the word coterie, too. It helps me figure out how to pronounce it. Oh, we've been here before. Yo, over here. All right, so I, I either needed to kill everything, or we missed a key. Let's go with we probably needed a key. I'm sorry, uh, oh! We left. How awkward. <laughs> you can just leave? Oh, crap! It's open now! Okay, let's, uh... Alright, I guess we had to kill everything in the dungeon to get that unlocked, or maybe just a single... Th if, if we had to kill a single thing, it was probably the Vosd that we had to kill. If it was otherwise, like, uh... If we had to kill everything, so be it. On the off chance, we can stake... Or having the stake in our inventory lets us stake Brutalac. We'll take a single stake with us as well, by the way. So far, I'm unimpressed, Brutalac. Your, your dungeon is not difficult. At least the first level wasn't. We, we ran through this in about seven minutes. Don't care about any of your trinkets. That's still locked. All right, Cathedral Fletch level two. Let's go. I guess before we go in, let's have Kristoff ignore the searing flame, and I'm also going to have him use. I could find it. Heart of Stone. Ooh, I like the look of this place. They don't make them like this anymore. Cotary, halt. Labissa? Labissa's here. Yo, over here. This is probably going to be a special battle then. I hear other things besides just her. Stand 
thy ground. All right, let's see what Labissa has to say to us, if assuming anything. I like the way she looks. She reminds me of the ghoul in Planescape Torment that just wanted to rip and tear and kill everything in that undead area within this uh, within the city. The master has awoken. Death comes to you all. Can we? Do we kill her? We ignore her. Okay, well, does it does it really, Labissa? We're we're slaughtering everything you said to get. Your place is pretty cool looking. Don't get me wrong. It, it, you're rather thematic. I see you put a lot of work and time in it, but that's not enough to. Uh, Cotery, halt. That's not going to be enough, I think. Yo, over here. It feels like we're walking right towards him. Is he right up ahead? Oh, I like the ribcage hallway. Very nice, Voodalak. You have good sense of interior design here. And a decent sense of taste for a, uh, for a Zemitsky. I approve. I approve. Who's using Dread Gaze on a Schlachta? One of you is going to be reprimanded after we're done saving the world. Speaking of saving the world, we should probably also save the game. Oh, I don't know what those are. Kill them. Are they hellhounds? Demon hounds? Stand back. Okay, so I have a question. That must be just the name of them, right? That's not... There are no... Are there demons in... I guess, I guess there must be, right? There's angels, so there has to be demons too? Is that the way that works? Cotary, halt. Get him! Excellent job tanking, Kristoff. You held that bridge for us. Attend me. Nice place when no one else moved up. They're all too busy stand stand still because I told them to. What are you? What's your problem, Wilhelm? Come on, join the rest of the group. All right, so far so good. Oh, we caught you trying to fade away. Oh, you actually, you, you, you fade away anyway. You, you think Flutalock gave instructions on how this place is supposed to look like? I, I want there to be like a glowing water underneath like some, some curvy platforms and had to oversee the direction of the construction of the Cathedral of Flesh himself. Let's make sure you guys don't just run in there against that, okay? Let's see. Cotary, halt! This looks like this is gonna be a difficult fight, to be perfectly honest. Because we have demon hounds in here, too. Okay. So, Kristoff, let's have you... I'm gonna assume Majesty does nothing against these monsters. We'll have you use Celerity. You can use Feral Claw. Uh, you have an inventory? Yes, you do. Lily, you also can use Haste. Let's summon two. And let the battle begin.
well done, guys. That went extremely well. That's exactly what I would expect the saviors of the world to be doing at this point in the game. Wow. We're, we're still in fantastic shape. And we get a disease vaccine for our troubles. That's wonderful. Not that we should probably need it at this point. Okay, let's save the game again. I, I should remember that I have Theft of Vitae and Summon Elemental Scrolls. Oh my god, is this the final... This, there's a Nesca! This must be it! Yo, over here! Well, it would make sense if it's Kristoff that leads us here. He probably sees a Nesca and just charges. Enter freely, Kristoff. I bid you welcome to my domain. It is fitting that you should be here now. At the beginning of the new age, as you were at the end of the last era. I shall cause thy fall now, as I did then. Ah, but then was I not yet risen. Your untimely intervention set me back nearly a millennium. But I am nothing if not patience. And now, I am omnipotent. Nay, for we have denied the Orsi statue for thy ritual. I'll live. We shall stop thee. It's over, Christoph. I have already risen, with power enough to consume even antediluvians. No! But I must extend my gratitude to you, Christoph. My former vessel, the Bosa, lacked a certain purity. But a Nesca, ah. Her virtue bubbles up from so rich a spring that I have been endlessly supplied with purity. To defile. <laughs> I would never have found her without your assistance. You sent her to me, and she has been so loyal and willing a servant to me over these long years. I shall now embrace her, and she will rule with me over the cattle of humanity for all time. Nay, Aneska is not thine. She serves thee not. She sent a summons to awaken me from torpor. Is this true, Aneska? Dear Master, please allow me to split Kristoff's joints and fleshcraft his bones into a throne for thy glory. <laughs> Monster! I'll destroy thee! I have a better idea. Serve me. I know thou art wicked, but I never thought thee a fool. Serve me. You don't really have any love for the Antidaluvians, do you? The day of Gehenna is coming, and they intend to consume you, and Wilhelm, and Lily and all other vampires. I will prevent that. I will give you eternity, life everlasting. We will greet the awakening grandsires with another flood, a deluge of their own blood. One antediluvian is no better than 13. I cannot entrust such power unto any, let alone thee. Then suppose I gave you your beloved Nesca. As well. What? Consider this. Even if you could destroy me, which you cannot, you would destroy her as well. Remember, she is my ghoul, and after all these centuries, she is utterly dependent on my blood. If I die, she shatters into thousand-year-old dust. But serve me. And I'll give her to you. What say you? Nay, I shall fight thee to stop thy mad scheme, even at the cost of my life. Well, that's interesting. That's interesting, because I I probably would have had Kristoff agree to that. 
in the hope that he could turn her back from her path. And now that we can't do so, <laughs> I guess we're fighting Voodalak. Let me quickly save the game here. Okay, boys, uh, we go aggressive. And we start summoning stuff. Uh, let's see. At least, uh, oh, can we interact with Ineska with Kristoff? Maybe we can try to convince her to help. Yeah, that that look of uh, Lily, which she casts a spell, is so awesome looking. I like the, the cloak, like, fluttering in the wind, uh, apparently, thanks to her power. Uh, let's see. Oh my god! Oh my god, we can freeze him? <laughs> Oh, Voodalak, you fool! Oh, man. You were ready for anything but unbalanced powers. How lucky is that? That I also put five points in Prison of Ice. That sucks for Voodalak. Oh, 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 Voodalak. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Voodalak. I, this is this is totally not fair. You prepared for thousands of years, but you didn't download, like, the latest fan patch. Oh, but you, when you break free, you really hurt. Let's have people use more blood blood pearls. We didn't even need all the stuff. I forgot even to use like summon summon elemental. We're not even gonna need it. Ah, <laughs> oh, Voodalak, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh man! Oh. Look like that hurt so much. All right, where, what happened to us? Oh, okay. That was the end of the second level. So, okay, so we're going to fight through level three and then I guess level four to reach him again. So we, we, he's a, we, we have to fight him twice, I'm guessing. Retreat. Thankfully, the enemy is not doing much at the moment, so we can go back to using our... Oh, I see you hiding there, War Ghoul. I don't think I don't see you. All right, go, go. Come on, help him. Yo, you might as well.
All right, your final level does look pretty cool with the glowing walls, but I, I think I like the second one better, Voodalock, than this one. Oh, I guess this is supposed to be blood everywhere down here, I see. I can't believe I got lucky again with the... Uh, with the uh, freeze spell there. Prison of Ice, is that what it's called? Man, that's so messed up. <laughs> I took two of the accidental most powerful abilities of the game, both of which stun or incapacitate targets. I am the wall of memory. I contain the secret thoughts of Inezuka. Oh, okay. Let's, uh... I do withdraw. Let's have everyone talk to Inezuka, then. This must be her, like, secret chamber? Or maybe Voodalak gave her a room? I'm surprised Voodalak, like, isn't checking her cell phone and stuff like that to see what she's really texting or who she's spending time with. But let's go ahead and talk with her. I am damned. In the holy orders, I once dreamed of the eternity of bliss that would be mine for my devotion to the Lord. Eternity is now mine, but not bliss. I shall live as long as a voivod, or as long as a voivod is pleased with me, or as long as a voivod is pleased to defile me. Heavenly bliss is not to be my lot, only empty torment. Yet still I dare to hope, still I live. Oh, Aneska. Fantastic sound effects of that head getting out of the wall there. I have lived for 50 years. All I loved are dead and gone. My beloved Kristoff has perished in the fall of Visserod. His sacrifice has preserved innocence in the world, and so I rejoice. But my suffering grows with each passing night. The Voyeva takes great delight in seeing me rise with fresh hope, for it means he may once again drag me down. Should I surrender all hope and break as the Busa is broken, his pleasure would be at an end. Yet I will not abandon my hope, even though such hope fills his empty heart with glee, as it fills mine with pain. I cannot bear it. Sorry, Kristoff, but we're going to have to listen probably to every single one of them. For more than 200 years, I have suffered every possible form of humiliation and defilement. I have fallen from the chaste and inviolate woman I once was, yet I have borne it all with hope in my heart. But now... I am sinking into the murky depths, and the last whisper of hope in me is fading like the final bubbles of breath from a drowning woman. As we grow close to the day of his resurrection, Vukadlak has found the only defilement I cannot bear. He has decreed that I inflict defilement on others by binding innocent men and women into the walls of his accursed cathedral of flesh. His power compels me, and I cannot resist a direct command. I can endure my own degradation, but I cannot abide to befoul others. I fear I shall shatter like glass. My poor, poor Ineska. This is my doing. Every humiliation she suffers is on my head. Kristoff, you can't blame yourself for the choices she made. She's correct. She's 100% correct, Kristoff. You can't do that. I mean, you are Catholic. <laughs> I, as a fellow Catholic, I understand what you're going through, because it's guilt. Guilt is a very powerful weapon. Very powerful weapon. And, uh, I, uh, but you, you can't do it. She is making her choices. She thinks you're, you're dead. And she is trying her best to get through this somehow. It is awful that now she's being forced to do to others what she would rather have done to herself, but she can't uh, fight him on it. I, perhaps thou art correct. It's not your fault. 
You have to move on. Was humanity for that? Oh! We, oh, wait, we did not. Okay, we did not. That was Samuel. <laughs> that was Samuel. I agree with Lily, though. I 100% agree with Lily. Maybe maybe we'll get a chance to... Uh, well, actually, let's keep talking with, with Inesco's faces. Because maybe we'll learn more and more that she began to change. It is two centuries and a half after Vukudlok took me. And his resurrection draws nigh. He now demands that I surrender the final shreds of my honor and perform evil acts of my own volition. I cannot defy my master's command that I defile others, and when I resist him, my poor body carries out his tasks against my will, like a puppet. He's driving me mad. So I must change. Rather than resist the evil I am compelled to do, I now embrace it and perform my tasks with zeal. The Master favors me, and as I embrace his evil, he gives me greater power. I have been Lebusa's equal since my arrival. Now shall I take over her duties, gladly trading the final measure of my innocence for control over the Voivod's worldly affairs. Tis the only way. <gasps> oh no! She gave up! I'm so sorry, Kristoff. Kristoff, are you okay? Well, I mean, while I agree with Lily, and I think Kristoff would as well in the end. Actually, would he? No, he wouldn't have. He would have blamed... I should have chosen the other answer here originally. I was thinking what I would, I would choose, not him. We'll mourn for her soul, which has been lost, as we are still Catholic. I mourn for her soul. I have now lived more than 300 years past my natural lifespan. I have committed atrocities beyond all imagining, but my plan has succeeded. Though Vukudlak has extraordinary power, his exile from the world makes him weak. He must act through Labusa, who wields great power within our haven. But in just a few years, I have usurped all of Labusa's power and left her a wretched outcast in the cathedral of flesh she helped build. Long ago, the Voyevod stripped her of her soul and gave her power in exchange. Now that I have taken away that power, she is a pitiable creature indeed. She has no place here, yet she cannot leave. I would lament her fate, but I have no tears to shed, even for myself, for Resurrection Day draws nigh. Ugh, that gives me the creeps. This is supposed to be the purest woman in the world? Uh, Lily, I think you should really zip it. I'm only trying to help Kristoff get over- Zip it! <sighs> You're right. Kristoff, I'm so sorry. You must be feeling awful. I wish I could... My feelings be damned. Tonight, we slaughter every denizen of this foul place, or die in the attempt. Good for you, Kristoff. So, in... In Inezka's defense, man, it's been 300 years with every day of that being tormented and defiled by him, by this, uh vampire whose power you can't resist if you're gonna crack if you're gonna you're gonna eventually crack you'd have to be an unbel have an um, unbelievable mental fortitude right to get to get through it and i don't think anyone would no one's lived for 300 years no one man time time changes a lot of things if maybe if adeska had lived uh, only her natural lifespan she would have been able to resist it all those years but as being forced into servitude as a ghoul, something that she probably didn't want to have happen, right? It could, uh, forces her to obey his every will. So, man, it was only a matter of time until I think she would have cracked. Let's see what the last three of these say. Oh. 
On the eve of his resurrection, Vukadlak bade us slaughter the Premisel leaders, even as they began the ritual that would raise him from torpor. I have learned well the lessons of corruption, for I have turned my hand to the corruption of the Voyevod's resurrection. In the guise of offering wise counsel to Vukodlak, I poison his heart against those who could speed his resurrection. I accuse the faithful of disloyalty. I accuse the powerful of dangerous ambition. I praise the weak and ineffectual, like the merchant Toad Orsi, as obedient servants. Vukodlak's fear of losing power is far greater than his hope of gaining new power. And so he believes every doubt I whisper in his ear. And so he crushed his own resurrection. Wow. She sacrificed her innocence to stop Vukodlak. Man! Good. So she didn't crack. Or maybe perhaps she has a bit. But she's willing to use the power that she's earned for good. The exact opposite of uh, the One Ring. <laughs> she's actually been able to turn it to, uh, for power for good, apparently. Also, by the way, I agree with Samuel's telling Lily to stop. <laughs> You're not gonna... Kristoff's uh... in love with Aneska, not with you, Lily, as unfortunate as that may be. You're, uh... I know you like him, but it's, it's, just, it's just not gonna work out. You're a vampire. You can live forever. You'll find someone else. Vukodlak's rage is implacable. His resurrection has failed so often that he blames all the Semitsi of Europe. He desires to move our entire Cathedral of Flesh to the New World where we may begin again. This vast undertaking will involve many shipments of native soil. I am well pleased, for this foolish migration shall take at least a century, and further postpone his resurrection. Gotcha. So then she was- so she, this last one must be her discovering that we exist, and her desperate attempt, now we're going to be able to restore her hope. And she's acting the best part- she's acting the best she can as an actress when she is- saying how she wants to destroy us because she knows if she says anything against Vudalak that all of this deception for the past 700 years is wasted effort and that she will be found out uh, after Vudalak kills us she'll be forced to, uh, into whatever it is that Vudalak desires with her again and this time he won't trust her at all so this ensures her position make sure that if we do die or fail I suppose that she is still able to try to continue to thwart him although he's resurrected so this might be a little too late for her now. But at the very least, she's seen that we are here and that we were able to defeat him up above. So maybe she has the hope that after we get out of this third level of the dungeon, we'll be able to save her. Alas, I fear I can no longer prevent the Voivod's awakening. Lord Vukodlak has gained great power from the fear and apprehension of foot in the world on the eve of the new millennium. These fears feed him, and despite my greatest efforts, his resurrection is now inescapable. There are none who can help me. I can only hope against hope for the return of the one man Vukodlak fears. I pray that God restores Kristoff. Well, he did. Vudalak also wasn't prepared for me to accidentally take the most powerful skill imaginable, prison device, that stops him from doing anything. I think that battle would have been a lot more difficult had he been able to just to run amok and do whatever he wanted to do. Alright. Return to me. Let's see what waits us up ahead. Oh! Lubissa wants a deal! I'm willing to give her a deal if she gets us out of this level of the dungeon. Come with me quickly! I can help you! Why should I enter thy trap, servant of the fiend? Please, for Aneska! She says that if you would have hope even when your cause is lost, you should follow me! Oh, man! 
I'll I'll agree to go with her. We read that she she's basically desperate. Maybe she's hoping that if she kills us, if we go with her, that she'll regain the favor of Voodalok. But I don't think she'd be powerful enough to do that, even in a betrayal. Let's go with her. I go, but I go with my sword at thy back. Go now. There is little time. Destroy him and topple this vile cathedral. Now, my dark love. Give you thanks for allowing me to serve you all these years, watching over your sweetly cruel visage in Torpor. My defilement is complete. I don't understand how it is. But thank you for letting us leave. Sweet! He keeps some loot in here. <laughs> I don't even care. We don't need any of it. We're just gonna prison of ice him when we see, when we see him again, and just and continue to beat him up. The poor guy. I guess we'll open this up. I, I will take a scope awaken. Oh my goodness! This is it. We we are gonna beat the game right now. Man. I am making a bunch of saves. Sorry, everyone. Just in case, uh, just in case something goes wrong. I don't see it going wrong. Okay, do we just go right back to the? I guess we go right back to the prison pressure level two and go right back to him. Only this time we don't fall into the pit. Don't tell him I pick up two bucks. <laughs> I can need it. Yeah. All right. I Let's get back to where he is and just, like, surprise, we need... Well, watch him just keep doing it, setting us right back into the, the bit level three until we give up. That'd be hilarious, but I, I don't think it's going to work uh, this time around. Oh! Lubissa was here last time. I'm guessing that now we go this way. That was a little sloppy on my part, but I, I really feel like we're so powerful it doesn't matter. Sure wish I knew what that did. Oh, it lowers our dexterity. It lowers our strength and dexterity. Uh, atrophy does. Well, let's wait till it fades. Good for Wilhelm, by the way. Stopping to have a drink. Oh, we are using lots of blood items on, like, spellcasters, but that was also to be expected. Yo! Over here! Alright, Kristoff is no longer atrophied. Give another awakened scroll. Is this... Where does this bring us? Oh, just... Oh, it's a pit. Never mind. Okay, we, so we, we could have gone this way before. Yeah, we'll leave the... We'll leave the the offering he gave to the statue there. I would do wish our, our my ghosts would do something else besides just stand there. I don't know why they they're doing that. I guess it's maybe because we're cloaking Samuel. Oh, I hope you guys can hear me. Still love the rib cages. Second time through it. Very nice. He should make this a theme park. After we defeat him. 
Won't be useful for anything else. I, I guess we're going to crumble this place around him. I'm assuming we will kill him. Unless there's like a big dialogue tree and we get we have a choice. Uh, no, I'm assuming it's, I'm assuming there'll be another battle right here. And he, he, we fight him like one more time. Is that right? Oh, he's not even here. Oh, did I run through this for no reason? Did I run through this for no reason? We did. Oh, okay. So this this wasn't where we, where we were supposed to go. I'm just curious, by the way. You're kidding me. <laughs> You're kidding me. You're, how does that make any sense, game designers? How does that make sense? We weren't allowed to walk the abyss in the Templar dungeon. But we can walk the abyss at, in Vudalax Cathedral. I wonder if we could have just... I guess, well, maybe we weren't allowed to do that on the third level of the dungeon. And so we, were, we had to listen to all the journal entries. Otherwise, we could have just walked the abyss, gone right back through the entrance. And got, went right back to Vudalax. I wonder if anyone's tried that. We don't have Lily with us, but it's okay. There's, there was no hostiles here. And, oh, no, she is with us. Okay, so a dead end. That's a shame. I wonder if we'll get, a, I wonder if we'll get like a, a fallout type of ending where we'll see what happens to all our characters at the end of this too. All right, so then I'm guessing he's on the way out. Is what's going to happen here. Good luck ruling the world from in, in your castle without any servants, Budalok. You survived my hosts. Impressive, your crusade. You have heard something few have seen. Your final vision shall be that of my true form. Watch as I reveal the absolute power of the Vibod! Oh, uh, I think it would, he would look cooler if he had just made, like, he hadn't gone full gargoyle on us there. Just kept his normal shape, made his arms be long and extended his face. I think that would have been better, would have been more creepy. Well, let's save the game before we, before we get going with this. Oh, I hear the music. The music's, uh, the music's pretty awesome. Okay, cool. He's giving us time to, to do what we want. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, use Celerity. On everyone. All right, thank you for giving us time to get ready for this. We might as well use uh, Indoor Searing Flame. I'll be really upset if there was if there was like no reason to ever cast that. Let's uh, let's go ahead and have you use your claws. Hopefully you can run over here. Samuel, let's summon Soul. Everyone go on the offensive. Let's do this. Beast calls me Oh, that's not good. Can we heal you, Lily? No, you're you're acting on your own. Oh my god, you are almost dead. Blood. Well, um, I need blood. You do. Okay, so this might be a bit tougher than I thought. Can we Prison of Ice him? 
Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Well, he has, he can take out, like, almost all my life with a single hit, apparently. So there's, he looks pretty awesome. I, I do like the look of him. I don't know why. I don't know why I would not use Prison of Ice over and over again on him. I don't like that my rates aren't doing anything. I guess he's just immune to rates. We're not allowed to... They don't do anything. Go. The, the rate's now finally attacking. That's good. Oh! Let's let someone in Elemental to help us. <laughs> oh, this is so wrong. It's it's so wrong. Go to her, Kristoff. Now that the Fiend is no more, my unnatural power dissolves. I fear for my soul after my defilement, after all that I have done. But I rejoice that my last sight shall be thee. I only pray that one day, I may attain thy forgiveness. I grant all forgiveness, though thou art blameless and pure in mine eyes. Then death finds me in joy and rapture. Aneska, my accursed soul trembles to utter these selfish, blasphemous words. But thou need not die if thou wouldst endure. Thou wouldst still have me, Kristoff? I scarcely dared hope. Thy love has redeemed me across a thousand years. I would that I could offer salvation in return, but I have none to give, only damnation. Damnation with thee would be sweet as salvation. Let thy love cast me down and raise me up forever. Take me, my love. That's it. Oh. Okay. Well, I, we. I. Uh. Okay. <laughs> That's it. I expected a little more. I wanted to see what happened to. I have so many unanswered questions. What happens to Willem? What happens to. Uh. What happened to Lily and Samuel? I. I guess they're all together hanging out at their cool cathedral of flesh that now belongs to Kristoff. Uh, Did does. Well, I guess all the power that Aneska had and her Zimitsky disciplines are, is also vanished when Vudalok died. I, I'm also glad that it took a little longer than instantaneous to uh, for Aneska to turn to dust without uh, what you call its power. So that's good. Uh, I'm happy for Kristoff as well. I like that he forgave her immediately. Although I'm not quite sure Catholic Kristoff would offer to preserve her life in such a way. But, uh, stupid lovehead Kristoff probably was very happy with, <laughs> with that ending. All right, well, we're done. Thank you all for watching Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Wow. What an adventure. What an adventure. There were, there were some 
pretty amazing highs. There were some awful lows. I really am super glad, guys, that I took Prison of Ice. <laughs> I can't freaking believe how stupidly strong that is. I am so glad I put that on my hotbar. Who thought that the final boss should be able to be perma-stunned? Come on, now. Come on, Voodalock. You should, you should have put points into whatever discipline would make you immune to ice. That's that's the way to go. What an accident. What an accident that was. That I just wanted Stone Heart. And I thought Stone Heart... I also thought Stone Heart was don't let you get fed upon. I didn't realize that was don't let you get staked. How... What a crazy accident that was. Unbelievable. That in Majesty. Wow. Man, how difficult that last battle must be without that, given how much damage he does. Oof, my goodness. Well, it's over. Uh, what were some of the best parts I liked about this? I love the voice acting in the game. I like the characters very much. I like the story. I really like those final journals. I thought I would. I thought they would find them cheesy. No, I I like them. I like showing that. I liked it that Andeska never gave up her desire to do good, even though she was being corrupted. And she played the part very well, fooling Voodalock. I like that. I did not think that was... I did not see that ha happening. There were so many things in this game I never saw happening. So many plot twists. I didn't think that the... I, I didn't think Pink was going to betray us that way. I never saw the transition to the modern age. Those were wonderful. What a great a series of ideas they had here. It's a shame that it's most of that's ruined by the awful gameplay of this and the terrible AI. My goodness, what the heck? It, it needed more time in the oven to fix those issues. But made in 2000, I, I guess this is the best they had. I, f I feel, well, then again, if they designed it any other way, it wouldn't have been the game it was. So I am, once again, glad to have played the game. Uh, I will now try to find someone else's playlist who I can enjoy. If you guys can recommend someone who's pl else who's playing through this, let me know. Uh, special, uh, special shout out to... Uh, Willem and Kristoff, who survived the early game, once again with me putting the points in the wrong skills. Me thinking feed, more points in feed was important, when it was actually more points in awe that was important there. Oh my goodness. And finally giving in and going full manipulation for all that infinite money. Which in the end, didn't it didn't matter in the end, right? We had, I guess, well, no, it, it did matter in the end. Because without the high manipulation, I never would have been able to sell the items for as much as I was uh, selling them for and buy things even cheaper, even if I didn't raise it to the levels it was. Lots of balance issues. Lots of, lots of balance issues with this game. I can see why people prefer, well, Bloodlines is a much different game, first-person shooter game compared to this one. But, uh, overall, once again, I don't regret the time playing this. You guys made it worth it. I'm so happy you guys kept at me to continue playing this game, thank you. I'm very glad to have seen the ending of this. I don't regret my time playing it. I thought it was it was a lot of fun to play this with you guys. I hope it was enjoyable to see me lose my mind when <laughs> I was trying to get the AI to do the right thing. Man. All right, well, what else can we talk about? Because we have a, little, a few more credits rolling. What's next on the agenda? Well, this was, I think, the final game I was wrapping up for the Halloween season this year. Although I have something surprising for you guys, in, in so much that there's another... It's not really a creepy game, but it is a cthulhu -ish game going coming up next. So uh, that will probably grace the channel on Monday. So, I'll uh, look forward to that. And I'll be asking if anyone wants to be a member of the group in that game, since I'm able to name characters in that one. So, you'll get to let me know. Uh, what else is there? Well, I, I didn't think it was going to end today. <laughs> I, I actually thought that each of these last dungeons would be, once again, about an hour to get through two levels of them. It's very surprising that these last two dungeons were the quickest of the dungeons I did in the game. I guess just ignoring all the loot, not caring about going back and selling stuff helps. Because I, since I, there was no, I felt like I didn't need anything anymore. We're powerful enough, I don't care about selling any of the loot, so. There must be some fun, but I, I'm not going to suffer through the AI is, is a problem. But I, I'm imagining at the time this was released, there must have been a few, like, uh, custom campaigns that people put together to play uh, this game with at the time, too. Wonder if any of them survived throughout the years. Hmm. Well, 
I think I'm going to shut up now because I'm running out of things to talk about. So, thank you once again to everyone for hanging out with me throughout this entire game series. I'm glad that I finished it. Another one completed. And maybe I'll see you guys in the next game, whatever that will be. So, thank you again, guys. I'm going to shut up and let the rest of the credits roll. <laughs> Good job, credits. Hold I'm sorry, guys. I'm interrupting really quick. That's hilarious. That's hilarious.